Hello everyone, welcome back to Drillers Garage. Today I am taking the Boxster to the track. Stay tuned. I made a video on this car not that long ago actually, uh, about the whole story about how I got it and I fixed it and all of that. So my intention was to possibly turn this into my quote unquote track car, not necessarily turn it into a dedicated track car. I still wanted to have, you know, air conditioning and all the all the creature comforts we uh, need here in South Florida. But uh, it would be good to have something kind of uh, worry-free, I guess would be the, the best way to describe it, to take to the track. So that's where this little guy comes in perfect. So I put new pads. I got some patched yellows, some RS-29s on there. So, you know, last time I went to the track, I literally cooked the rear brakes. So now... I should be much, much better. I can break much deeper. And when I get back to the pits, I won't have a bunch of smoke coming up out of the, uh, out of, out of the rear wheels. Cause last time those brakes, I mean, I'm surprised there weren't flames coming out. So that's that. So uh, I'm gonna go pick up some, uh, you know, some friends along the way. We're gonna meet up at a couple different spots and head down to Homestead. We're going to Homestead today and let's see how it does. Here's the first one. Man, that car is so badass. Yep. Here we have another one. Got some more uh, cars along the way. Almost ready to head out. Beautiful day, look at all the palm trees and all the uh, the rigs and uh, pulling up here to the security little house here to uh, sign waivers, you know, if you crash, don't sue us. Alright, so here we go, ready to hit the track. Alright, so after the first session, the car survived. Uh, tires are like 40 PSI though, so I gotta get some air out of them. So, buddy of mine brought his Boxster. We got the 76, 996 GT3, 997.2 RS, 991.2, and 991.1, like mine but in orange. The pumpkin. Anyway, sharing is caring. So I'm letting my friend here take the boxer out because why not? That's what it's for, to go have fun.
talk. This is Pedro from Corolla's Garage here. That's right. Brought to you by my, 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 uh, my barbecue mom. Grand champion. What's going on here, Pedro? Uh, we seem to be having a shifter issue here. Trying to do a little track side repair. We are at Homestead with the one starting out crew. Did you guys pour any shirts? You guys are all going to be featured oh, in Corolla's okay. Garage. Hey! I have a foot flask, but it's a good one. I can't find the logo. It's working, I got it. Kind of. Now, now it's it's completely loose now. Oh, perfect. So we'll see. Pick your gear. Yeah, yeah. We either fix it or call it. Oh, no, no, no. Gotta go get it. Get it. A trailer. Come on. Anyway, this is not. That's right. We don't want to call the workshop, do we? No workshops. No. <laughs> no workshops. <laughs> All right, yeah, see, that's what happened. Though. The thing here came off. Oh. Oh, how many, pound, how many pounds did they tighten that? I don't know, too many. We're having issues here with the shifter. That's not supposed to move. Couldn't figure out what it was, maybe thinking maybe it was the coupler back there but it's not it's this it's not supposed to move like that yep. I am going to try to fix this with the hose clamp let's see what happens see hose clamp now it's nice and sturdy at least to get home from the track. No workshops, no tow trucks. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, here at the track. Uh, beautiful homestead, you can see. People are leaving already. The paddock is pretty empty. It's about that time to uh, call it a day. The weather today was spectacular. Really was a great day, had a lot of fun. And uh, that's what I love to do. I love to play with cars and come out here to the track and uh, have fun with them. So, thanks for watching again. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.